Thousands of feet above Louisville's skyline, the U.S. Army's elite parachuting team put on a show for spectators during thunder. WDRB's Grace Haba and Ian Cunningham hit the skies with the Golden Knights to show us why they're the best of the best. Good standbys. The Golden Knights are the epitome of everything that the Army is. Teamwork and dedication and discipline and uh, attention to detail. Pressures and quantities all look good. Flaps. I mean, I joined the Army straight out of high school. I'm from a small town of like a thousand people in Pennsylvania. I have been on the team for four years. This is my first year as a jumper. I started off uh, pulling some ground duties and stuff like that. It's the, it's the best of the best, so that's that's where I wanted to be. Ready to taxi. We have been practicing. We just got back from Homestead, Florida. Probably 130, 140 jumps there. Getting ready to come here. We work pretty hard to make sure we're we're getting everything right. First off, we throw our streamers, our wind direction indicators. That lets us know which way the winds are blowing in altitude and lets us calculate where we're going to get out of the aircraft. To land on the target. Our minimum is 100 feet by 100 feet. That's, uh, that's what we can squeeze into. I have 475 jumps right now. And I'm the, I'm the baby on the team. There are guys that have way more than me. Our big concern, the winds were a lot higher above the cloud deck. The first guy that jumped out radioed up and said, you know, it's a little, uh, it's a little, little bumpy under canopy. Might not be the best idea to let them go. So myself and Brandon, unfortunately, were unable to jump. Rode down the plane. We'll try again next time. 